my name is Kelly McElligott and I have a short tutorial on using the label creator in Koha to make barcode labels. There is a tool in Koha that allows you to make barcode and spine labels within Koha. I have another short tutorial video on how to make spine labels um, already posted on the YouTube channel. This tutorial will cover creating barcode labels for your library using the tool called Label Creator. Label Creator is found in the Tools module. In the Tools module in the center column called Catalog, there is the Label Creator. Now there are sh three steps that are required to create some labels within Koha. The first step will be that we'll need to create a template for the barcode. So this is going to tell Koha what our barcode sheet looks like, the um, height and width, and then as specific as how big our labels are. So as you're watching this, take notes and remember that the ruler is very useful when you're creating a template um, for those labels. So I'm going to go ahead and click this new button and I'm going to create a new label template. Now for today's tutorial, I'm going to use a um, Avery label sheet and this is an Avery 5160, which I feel is very popular within libraries for barcodes. When you name your template code, it's very important because when you go to use the template, you'll want to know which one you want to use if you have more than one. If you were using spine labels and barcodes and different examples, then you would want to make sure that the name you give it, you'll remember. So I'm actually going to call this um, barcode Avery 5160. So I know I'm going to make barcodes with this um, Avery template. If I wanted to get more specific, I could um, fill out a more description. Now, we're going to set up the actual template for the label. And this allows you to be able to pick a unit. So my ruler is in inches, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm gonna create this um, template in inches. But if you wanted to, you could go ahead and pick centimeters or um, millimeters, whichever you feel most comfortable with. Now my barcode label is a standard sheet of paper, so I'm just going to say that my page height and width is 8.5 by 11. Now let's get specific to the actual label width and height. Um, Avery is always very good at giving you your dimensions of the labels on usually the box when you get it. So my width is um, 2.625 and then my height of each label is 1. Now over on the right hand side, this is asking me how much space is there before the labels start um, beginning on this sheet. So what's the margin? I'm measuring my margin is about a half an inch. Now the left page margin for my sheet is very small and I'm gonna guesstimate it's 0.187. Now here is where it gets kind of tricky because you need to um, determine where you want the text to begin on the label. And I've found that you will need to fiddle with this a little bit depending on what you put in your barcode, whether you're just putting that barcode in there or you're gonna add a barcode and then maybe the title of the book or going the next step, put the barcode, the title and the author. So it really depends on how much room you need on the actual label. So I'm gonna start with my top text margin as 0.4 and then my left text margin I'm going to say is a quarter. Now again I have found myself having to go ahead and change these if I feel like I need to edge it over a little bit. Now this is asking me how many rows and rows and columns I have. So I have three columns of ten rows. Um, the last two I have a gap between my columns. Yep I've measured that. It's very small but it's there and there is no gap between my rows so I'll leave that as zero. I give some details in the blog post that I'm posting along with this, um, how to set up a printer profile if necessary. Um, you will only need to set up a printer profile if you find that your printer is skewing to one side um, while you're printing. So generally you wouldn't have to do that, but I do have directions in this blog post. 
So now you can see all the templates that I have available in my label creator, and that's the first step. My next step is I'm going to create the layout. So this is where I tell Koha what I'm going to put on this label. So I'm going to go to New Layout. Now here is another really important part is making sure that you name it. Um, because once again, if you use, um, maybe you use this Avery sheet, but you use it for barcodes sometimes, and then other times you use it for barcodes plus the author or barcodes plus the title. So you can get as specific as you want so you can always go back to the right layout when you need to. So I'm going to say that this is going to be um, my barcode with title. So I'm going to have a barcode label and I'm going to include the title on that barcode. Now for your barcode type, the encoding, generally it is going to be code 39. There are some other options, but we have found most libraries are using that code 39. And then we have a few layout types. So here we have um, Biblio. Now Biblio is not a barcode label, so you wouldn't use that if you were creating barcodes. But you have options like barcode Biblio, Biblio barcode, alternating, and then just a straight barcode. The barcode Biblio would mean that the barcode would show first on top and then the Biblio information would be below the barcode. So the reverse would be true for the Biblio slash barcode. The Biblio information that you require is on the top and then the barcode. And then we have what's known as alternating. So then you it would actually create um, two different labels, one that would have the barcode and then one that would have that Biblio information. There's more details about that in the blog post, including a picture. And then you have that barcode. So I'm going to say I'm going to pick a barcode Biblio. Now, for what I what bibliographic information I want to print. So I have a way to go ahead and say first, second, third, all the way up to seven here in this um, choose the order. I don't need to include all these. Um, and I can go ahead and make all these zero if I wanted to or make them blank. I also have that option to go ahead and list fields. Now a common mistake I have found is when you're creating a barcode um, label, you include barcode. You do not need to include barcode in your data fields because Koha already knows you want the barcode. It is asking what you want in addition to the barcode. So I'm going to go ahead and I could go ahead and say that I just want that title. Or if I did it this way, I would make sure that all these are um, blank. So I have that title as number one and everything else is blank. So either way, I could fill that information out. Draw guide boxes. Generally, I like to see where my guide, where Koha believes the labels are and then where my text is before I print. So I like to draw those guide boxes prior to running my first set of labels. Um, call numbers is not important in this temp in this layout. Then I have text justification. I'm going to say I want that centered. Um, I'm fine with that. Times New Roman. Again, your um, font size could vary depending on um, how how much you how big you want your font. I'm going to start with 10 and see how it goes, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So that's the first two steps in creating a barcode label. Now my next step is I'm going to create a label batch. So this is where I'm going to tell Koha what items I would like barcode labels to be created for. So here I can enter barcode number or item number and or I could go ahead and scan them in. So I have a few barcodes that I'm going to add and I'm going to hit that Add Items button. So here I could see um, the three items I scanned in and a little bit of information. I can export selected items out of this list or I could export the full batch. So I'm going to pick all three to create a batch of these. Now this is where those names come in handy. I'm asked to first select the template that I created. So I know my, my mine was called Barcode Avery 560. Then I was, I'm asked to pick the layout. And I have that barcode with title. 
And finally, I'm asked where I would like to start the labeling on a sheet. So if I had already started to print five or six on this sheet and now I'm going to do this one, I could change that starting position. I'm going to export that. And then I have some options of downloading it in different, in different forms. Once I download this, I can go ahead and open them, open the file, grab it over here, and I can see that um, here are my grid boxes that I asked Koha to show me. I have the barcode and the title included on all three of these barcodes. So this concludes how you are to create and how you can create barcode labels within the Koha system. There are step-by-step -step instructions on the blog post on our Bywater website. Thank you so much for watching. This tutorial is a production of BywaterSolutions.com.